Hi, this video is meant to teach how I have hooked up my MacBook and MacBook Pro to my HD television uh, using cords. Um, you know, I know I know there's Apple TV out there and there's other cords, um, but these are the ones I've used. I don't like Apple TV just because I want to be able to just stream things um, like the browser I'm in just right on the television. And so this will show how I've done it um, and hopefully that can help. Uh, speed along the process if you're looking to do the same. All right, so first I'm going to talk about how to hook up the MacBook Pro. This is a 15-inch brand new MacBook Pro to the television. So what you'll first need, you'll notice um, the ports that you have in the middle. There is the mini display ports, and that's what you'll need a cord for to hook te to the television. So the cord that I bought is a is this. It's a mini display port to HDMI cord. You um, can get a link to it. Uh, you can buy it on Amazon or many other places. Uh, it costs about $20, $30. And this will hook right into the MacBook. Obviously, you know how to things hook in. Just hook it right in. And then you'll also need an HDMI cord that then hooks in. And then that will go to your television on you know, any open HDMI port uh, on your television. The, the, the catch is on this and on the, uh, hooking up the MacBook, that sound doesn't transmit through. And so you can have your video to the television, but not sound. So then you can just go by, I mean, this you can get this anywhere, Radio Shack, anything. Um, just, you know, like a cord that will hook into your, your headphone jack, and then something that will then go to a, an uh, input, audio input on your television. Um, I actually bought one that is like this, um, so it's actually useful for video as well, but you know, you can just hook into the audio. So here, is the cord, the mini display port cord, once again. All right, so here we are set up. Uh, there's my MacBook, there's a television, and I have hooked up the mini display port to the MacBook. And now I have, here's the HDMI, and I will just go over, hook it in, as anyone knows how to do, to an open HDMI port. Now, so we're hooked up. I will open up my MacBook. I will then, because you know, turn on the correct HDMI channel. So you'll see. Then now this, the MacBook has now gone blue. The TV goes blue, and while they're they're syncing together now, both you see both things, uh, and you see both uh, outputs on this on on the uh, the, the t television and computer. So. What I'll do just to demonstrate the fact that I'm playing a video on here, um, but it's and it's playing on the television right there. <laughs> That's what happens when you use something with with pictures in. But it, there's no sound. Um, now I can unmute right there. the uh, computer and you hear the sound, but uh, there's no sound on the television. So, what we'll do then is then hook up the cord into the output the audio output and then hook up into the audio input and now this is the television as you can see I muted it mute unmute now, one thing that I had to do with this television in order to, for this to work was go to, um, actually go, go to my menu, go down to audio, and then go to advanced audio, um, and then change what the HDMI in on the audio was. Obviously your television might be different, but you may need to do that because um, I was, again, hooking in. Uh, the uh, the HDMI cord and then hooking in a component uh, for the audio. So there, and then as you can see, um, I will. You, if you want to go to like you know full screen, um, you know, then you can you get a good full screen video on on your television. Now for the MacBook. Now the MacBook is different. Um, you see a similar uh, grouping of ports. But that mini display port is not present, and what you'll need then is a cord for this port here, and that is 
this port here. I think it's your DVI. Um, and then it goes to an output where you need to have a video, uh, in this case, I guess a video in, video out uh, cord. So this is what you're looking for with that cord. And you can just plug this in right into here. So as you can see then, this is hooked in here. This is plugged in. And we'll do, I'll do the same thing. Uh, now instead of hooking in audio, I need to hook in video. So I will actually go to the component. I still have the uh, MacBook Pro hooked in. I will just go to the video in, hook that in. All right, so here we've got the MacBook hooked up back to the television. So I will now, uh, because this is actually hooked into a component, I will then select what is one of my video, what, I, what my television calls video two. Um, so this is not an HDMI. And then I will open this up. And now you see the same thing on both. However, again, you know, you have the same issue with sound. Um, you know, as you can see, we're playing video, but the sound is not coming out. So um, I will actually just take the same cord that I had in the MacBook, plug it into the headphone jack, and suddenly now we're getting video. Again, you know, go to full screen. And, you know, we're on that. And as you can see, see I mute, it goes off. So it works just fine. Um, the only issue with this one, as opposed to the MacBook Pro cord, is that uh, the, as you look on the television, or as you look on the television or on the computer monitor, uh, the screen is a little bit smaller than it should be. So sometimes, oh, no, I just took it off. But um, anyway, so sometimes what you wind up having to do is, um, there. Sometimes what you wind up having to do is sort of move the, the browser around. So this one isn't as good as to actually browse on the, the television, um, but it works just fine if you want to watch videos and then put it on full screen. So anyways, I hope that that was at least somewhat beneficial to you. I know that there are other ways to hook up a MacBook to a television. There's more than one type of cord. This is the kind that I use, and it's worked, at least for watching videos on uh, the television in the way that I like to do. Um, so, you know, hopefully if nothing else, maybe that saved you uh, a few minutes of, of searching or knowing what cord you want or don't want. This might not be a very good setup. I believe uh, there actually is some sort of a device that you can buy that transmits the audio now through the HDMI 